What's going on guys? I'm Eric Beckstead of The Free Label out here in beautiful Squamish. I got my homie Liam Measure here um, helping me out with the tour. He's part of The Free Label as well. Uh, let's go check it out. Place that heats it really nicely, crack a couple windows, and uh, yeah, it keeps a nice even temperature. I have this bench I built the other week that folds up for storage here. This is kind of our chill zone. We put down some mattresses, or it can be a bed if someone's staying over. And we got this front zone, and uh, this is kind of like you want to chill, look out at the beautiful mountains over here, play some guitar, have a couple friends, whatever. Got some storage here. This is gonna become my counter space. I'm gonna cut it down. So literally just built this yesterday. I'm gonna finish off the top here with some uh, waterproofing stuff and just get it looking good. But yeah, got a little cabinet, storage. I'm hooked up to outdoor water here. We got a running tap, which is pretty exciting. I'm gonna eventually have a sewing machine here so that we can just be working on different products and designs, have a vision board up here. And here's one of the frames I made, just kind of covering all the ugly electrical stuff right there for now until we finish that part. Um, and then this is the workstation zone. So this is where we make all our videos and uh, we just did a tour across America, which was insane. And uh, we had all the boys lined up here, just standing while the bus was going with uh, extension cord to the inverter hooked up to the battery so that we could edit on the go and it was a ridiculous setup but it worked come on into the bedroom pretty spacious for uh you know single guy when we got all the boys for the tour we're kind of cuddling and lying on the floor and all sorts of good stuff sleeping on the deck that we'll take you up to in a sec um but yeah it does the trick got all my clothes in here um these are a uh, lifesaver. Floor gets pretty cold. This uh, We started the free label going up to work with an indigenous group in the Northwest Territories. And that's kind of what we're about, those values and trying to give back to different causes. And this 91 year old lady made these in a teepee. And then we have this massive TV that we play our content on on the road. So we can actually, we have this set up. Liam came up with this. Um, it bolts onto this when we're driving and has um, foam in here and here for the vibration and made it across America still works so we lift it up by the frame and hang it on the outside of the bus during the day and play our content um, whereas we couldn't do that with the projector um, during the day so electricity we got a couple danglers in here um, that's gonna change but basically uh, where I have the bus parked right now is in Squamish. This used to be an old raft guide camp. So they actually have um, sites set up like a campground, uh, 30 amp power and water. And there's a couple other tiny homes here. Um, my friend Natalie helped me set up the electrical and basically uh, I've got 30 amp and then we've got it converted with this breaker down here. This switch right here delay we got these pot lights and then i have some cool like string lights in here as well and i have like this cool led tube light that kind of strings all along the back here we got this trusty diesel engine international made it all the way from edmonton alberta to whistler bc down to acton california to malibu through tahoe there's some windy crazy cliff roads that are pretty scary there um and then back and we did some crazy stuff i think i might be and correct me if i'm wrong the first person to rope swing off the deck of a bus into a lake like over a cliff 
That was pretty crazy. I have like this uh, cedar strip canoe under here that I'm working on, which is pretty cool. The chimney goes out there. Here's our power right here and water. And this is an electric hose uh, I got at Lord Co. Um, and yeah, basically, so it plugs in. And so far, it's been like minus 20, it hasn't frozen. That's a view right there. It's Alpha Mountain, that's my favorite mountain. And the river's right where those trees are, which is pretty cool. So we'll take you down there in a bit. That's the, the house right there. And uh, we actually, on this property, because they do some kind of events and stuff for like van life stuff, which is cool. Um, they have a communal shower and um, what else they have toilets washing machine everything you need so that's pretty nice didn't need to waste space on the bus let's go check out the deck here so here's our uh, 15 foot deck we had to make it so big because it's just the best part of the bus like we took it on tour and we had like a 15 person parties or record up here and it worked like a dream why am I living on a bus? Basically, I wanted to find a way that I could live out in Whistler where it's really expensive for living, but also be able to be uh, spend a lot more time creating my brand and just actually living the lifestyle that I'm putting out there. I don't I don't really like these like influencers that are just faking everything. I wanted to be like if we're creating like a lifestyle brand and trying to share these these cool moments, I want to be able to like step outside and be in it. And then also space is really important to me. And uh, I'm just not at a point in my life where I can afford a home and they're all about a million dollars in Whistler. So it might take a couple of years. But uh, yeah, I, I love like being able to design my space around how I work and my mind works. The bus isn't big enough to really have get togethers, but because I'm in such cool space that doesn't have a backyard, I'm literally on like a ranch. I can have 20 friends over, be as loud as we want, have a bonfire and not worry about it. And then the next day sit on the bus and, and work on a project and be able to step outside and shoot amazing photos with mountains. And I hear wolves howling in the morning and you just don't get that in a house. It's you. You're limited. You're scared to put a hole in the wall because you don't own it, maybe, and uh, you have to work the space around how you want it. I wanted to be mobile so that we can bring our our vibes and and our projects to people and go work with them. So, say we're doing a video collab with a brand, we could literally like drive to their city and work with them, and they could see what we're about but we could also go to a market and show our stuff and, and try to raise money for different causes. Yeah, the biggest challenges of living small, mold, number one, it's the worst. Um, there's ways to get around it, but I've been so busy building that I've kind of neglected trying to mold proof things. I'm just trying to get it done. And uh, yeah, I find the metal really condenses and condensation builds up and if you don't put something like a vapor barrier between the wall you're gonna get mold so I'm fighting that right now and kind of backpedaling because I built everything to get it looking good and now I'm like oh I'm just building mold communities <laughs> banging my knee and everything I learned a lot of new swear words living in the tiny space and I had to actually keep all my material while I was building it in the bus so that was terrible because i have all my like computer gear and i'm just getting sawdust on it and i'm hitting it with things and bumping my foot and stepping on cutoffs and screws that have fallen down so that's been crazy but like all that aside like i've never felt freer than living like this because i just like i'm not worried about a landlord i'm not worried about having to move I'm not worried about um, where my stuff is because I know it's within this 250 square feet somewhere. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of upsides as much as there's downsides and everything I just listed, you can 
work with it and, and make it work for you. So my biggest tiny home tip, if you're gonna go down and embark on that journey, definitely do it. But build or find a storage place um, where you can keep all your material dry and have a space that you can actually work and cut wood. Because if you're trying to do it all, if you're trying to build the frame of your tiny home first and then build it inside it, and just like storing your stuff outside, especially in uh, BC where it's damp, your stuff's gonna rot or get moldy or get ruined. Um, and uh, you're just gonna be fighting an uphill battle because you're just always gonna be having to work twice as hard, moving everything inside your home to work on different parts of it and keeping all the materials. And, and that's another thing, I got a lot of my material free, but that means I get it at random times. So I might find this great thing I know I want in the future on Craigslist, or I have a friend who just remodeled their home and I get all this great barn wood, but am I gonna store like all this barn wood I might not need on the bus, but I've taken three months before I'm actually working on that part of the bus, and that's what I've had to do in this particular circumstance. But yeah, so if you have a warehouse you can work in, or build a really good shed first and you know your life will be way easier it may seem like you're wasting money renting a warehouse or storage container or building a nice shed that keeps your stuff dry but you're gonna be saving time and saving money I would definitely recommend this lifestyle I'd recommend it to anybody that wants to just have more time for doing what they love I mean that's the ultimate thing what do we all want freedom right freedom from our job freedom from rent freedom from just stuff that stresses you out and living like this I mean there's hardships you got to overcome but they're more of a physical thing than a mental thing and for me I would rather deal with a bit of cold or um, you know a bit of hard work than having a landlord yelling at me if you're having trouble finding a space for your tiny home and maybe you're working on one um, put out a Craigslist ad that really works um, call up any of your friends who are also living the lifestyle and see if they might know somebody who has a place they probably went through the process already hit up people on Instagram YouTube if they're in your area try and find them and um, yeah just honestly even go knock on people's doors with big backyards or a farm and um, another key thing with trying to find a space for your tiny home is maybe write a contract out with the person whose land you're living on um, because even if you're not living beside them they're gonna have their own rules for the property and all of a sudden you feel like you, you might as well be renting a house to have the same stresses so personal philosophy live life to the fullest and I live today like I might die tomorrow but I plan like I li might live forever, you know? So I have big goals, big dreams, but I wanna have the most fun in the day, so I'm trying to combine those two. So basically, just like having the most fun in a day, but still putting in a little planning and groundwork and doing the stuff you don't wanna do so that your life in the future is easier because you put in that little bit of extra work but if you die or get sick or hurt yourself um, or circumstances change, you still know you had that great day. So if you guys want to find us and check out what we're doing, I hope you're stoked on it all. But it's uh, at the free label, the free label on Instagram. We're also on YouTube under the same name. And honestly, if you're in Squamish, Whistler, British Columbia at all, reach out to us on any of those platforms and we'd love to meet you and we just want to collaborate with people and try to make a difference in the world so that's what we're here for and um thanks so much for checking us out and be good take it easy live life to the fullest and keep it real all right so just as a thank you and we support what you're doing for us we got you a free label uh, vintage styled strap back hat that we actually put together from old vintage hats and sourced all the materials and have our logo the feathers on there 
and yeah, made from scratch, sourced the thread, and that's for you, man. We appreciate you. And uh, we also have a hoodie here for you. Thanks, man. Yeah, dog. <laughs> Anytime, awesome. man. Thanks a lot for doing this and coming to check out what we're doing out here.